Okay, awesome. Uh, do you have a class two uh, driver's license? No, I do no. not. <laughs> I, guess we're, I guess we're staying here. Uh, welcome, everyone, uh, to uh, the HA Mobile COVID edition. Um, we have an election coming up and has been a, a tradition uh, to bring candidates and take them for a drive and, uh, and get to hear more about them. Uh, I want to first acknowledge that we're on the uh, traditional, beautiful territories of the Sinaloa First Nations. Uh, today we are uh, not going for a drive, but we have Kathleen Jones from the Liberal Party. Uh, welcome, Kathleen. Thanks Thank for you. joining us in these somewhat un, uh, unprecedented times. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah. Um, so, uh, have you? Uh, when was the last time you were on a school bus? Oh, in the day of the dinosaur, a long time ago, I think. Quite a while ago. Yeah, I was thinking. I was actually <clears throat> just thinking the other day of like, I don't know. Do, do you have like a, a favorite memory from a school bus trip or anything like that, or, or, or some uh, some sort of detail from a school bus? Oh, definitely. I grew up in uh, southern Ontario in a real rural community. I was walking through snowdrifts to a school bus that I had to catch every day for thirteen years there back you go. and forth on a school bus. I have lots of. But I was the first one on in the morning, but that meant I was the first one off going home. Oh, that's good. So There you go. Um, so you're relatively new to, to politics. Why don't you just tell us three things about yourself that, uh, that we should know? Three things about myself. Well, <clears throat> I've been in British Columbia since the early 70s, and I love it here. I was a career social worker with the Ministry for Children and Families in the state of Washington for over 25 years. And... Um, we opted to retire back to Nanaimo because it's a beautiful city. It is. Couldn't agree with you more. Um, and what are the three most important issues to you for this election? The three most important here in Nanaimo, it's kind of the homeless opioid crisis we're facing. It's the lack of housing for everybody. And it's really Nanaimo's need to get a tertiary care hospital going here with cancer clinics, cardiology clinics, catheterization labs, that's a hard one to say, and a new patient tower. So it's really just the, the drugs, the housing, and the hospitals. Awesome. Those are my three, three top picks. And you were uh, mentioning, it was just this morning before you came here, that uh, the Liberal Party has dropped their, their platform. They just put it out this morning. <laughs> it's just 15 minutes before I got here. Of course, you've read the whole thing over. They did. They dropped 100 pages just um, this morning. There we go. Um, and we've got a little message here. What do we got? Uh, no, it's okay. We're, we're good. Um, we've got uh, we've got someone who hopefully is joining us in a bit. But so of the um, of the platform or from the platform, what were three key things that you pulled from the platform, from the Liberal platform? The, the three key things, the, the, the first and, and foremost, and it's probably got more than three points in it, is really the need here in British Columbia to deal with the opioid crisis and the lack of housing and the number of homeless that are on our streets. Right. It's that you know, under the NDP, they there's, there's four pillars to health, which are like harm reduction, prevention, education, and then enforcement, treatment in enforcement. And really, the NDP have embraced the first pillar, harm reduction, but that's kind of like saying, well, you've got cancer, but we're only going to give you one therapy. It's not working. Right. And putting everybody into one housing modality, which I learned from visiting people and from some of the volunteer stuff, they're referring to them as trap housing. But, you know, even if you've got somebody, they go to detox, but then they come right back into the same housing with all the addicts. So it's not it's not working that needs to be expanded and um, you know having everybody assessed individually and, and looked at so that programs so that can be done. falls quite in line with your sort of main three objectives that you were talking about so that, that I can see why then uh, you're and, and maybe this is the reason why you decided to go with the Liberal Party then it's definitely the reason there why. we go um, so uh, let's see what does what does good leadership look like to you uh, during a pandemic Oh, it means safety for everybody first. It means a clear vision moving forward, ensuring the safety of everybody so that we can all get to where we want to be, keep keep going, keep keep working, keep going to school, keep doing it, but it's got to be done safely. It's got to have, um, you know, we, we need the, the latest, um, what do you want to call it, the, the, the latest knowledge, the latest research on COVID and what's happening. But, uh, you know, and leadership's providing all of that. Okay. Awesome. 
this is this is going really well. We need some road bumps. It's too bad we're not moving. We could, but um, it's all good. Um, okay. So, and what relevant experience do you have to to uh, as a candidate to Nanamo? So, what what experience do you bring that make you a relevant candidate for uh, for this running? Oh, I bring basically. I, I do embrace the the vision of the NDP and or I'm sorry, not. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was, I, we need I, more coffee. I, 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 I do need more coffee, and I'm I'm nervous. You're making me nervous. I'm sorry. That's not I, the intent. Yeah. I think we know what you're saying, though. Yes, I I do. I'm, I'm following what what the Liberal Party, the BC Liberals, have, which is yeah. freedom of choice, but within a structure that's moving us all forward, so that we can all really be the best we can be. I'm sorry, I said that. It's all good. It's all good. Well, this is this is all about just being real. So it's all perfect. <laughs> well, I am. There you go. That's good. Um, uh, let's see. So, uh, what's been what's been the most uh, challenging experience so far during this campaign? This. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we did all right, so, Isaac. Yeah, getting so nervous, I'm stumbling out an answer that isn't even an answer is the most well, real. I apologize. But it's also being able to say, "I said it. I own it." There you oh, go. Geez, oh no, my you know what? Bad. I think I think that we often forget that uh, you know candidates are humans as well, and we make mistakes. And I think it's usually more about how how we deal with mistakes more so than than anything else okay. so um what has brought you the most joy during this campaign so far oh meeting all the people yeah it's, it's really been i i've loved I, I like meeting everybody i like talking i often refer to oh yeah let's go have a cuppa which means a cup of tea or a cup of coffee and just talking getting to know where you've come from i like understanding everything it's been kind of my I've had a philosophy of like lifelong learning and development where I've studied everything. I even have teaching certification in English as a second language. Wow. I mean, I've, I've, I've always... What second language? Any second language. Oh. Just teaching English oh, gotcha. as your second right. language Sorry. to, to See, new people. See, I need a cup of coffee too. Um, but you owned up to it. <laughs> Uh, that's good. Okay, so um, uh, I had uh, this this idea of, of speed round questions here. So I got some quick fire questions, uh, low pressure, uh, just whatever comes to your mind first. Uh, LinkedIn or Twitter? I don't use either. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, cats or dogs? Dogs. Okay. Uh, Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. Okay. Any particular reason why? <laughs> nope. No. Nope. I okay. just liked it. Uh, New York City or Tofino? Tofino. There we go. Uh, ham and pineapple or pepperoni pizza? Ham and pineapple. There we go. Um, one thing uh, the one thing that annoys you the most? Being cold. Okay. Uh, you and my wife should talk. She's always cold. Um, uh, and if you could have lunch with any one person uh, from the past, with whom would that be? I would like to talk to Queen Victoria. No. I think she was a very interesting lady that did a lot of really interesting stuff. And yeah, she would be the most fascinating to me. Cool. Awesome. Um, so uh, I want to put out a reminder to everyone uh, that there's an all-candidates meeting tomorrow night at uh, the Shaw Auditorium. Now, it is going to be done virtually. I think there's going to be a very small audience. Uh, uh, but that is starting at 6.30 p.m. And Kim Smythe from the Chamber of Commerce reminds me to say uh, that you go on to the Chamber website, which is www. or www.nanamochamber.bc.ca, and uh, you'll see a clip to the live stream note there. So that starts at 6.30. You all ready for that? Yes, I am. There we go. They won't have the tough questions like I have here. <laughs> um, so uh, let's see, and we just finished Thanksgiving, uh, and I want to know what are you what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for having three super smart and healthy grandkids that are progressing well in the academic system, and that so far none of us have got COVID. Yeah, for sure. That's uh, that's a lot to be thankful for, for sure. Uh, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, uh, I also want to thank uh, the school district 68. Uh, particularly Dale Burgess uh, in charge of communications. Oh, actually, before I do that, uh, Rick, did you have a, a comment on, on the student? Yes, I did. They are not coming. Okay. They've been sent home sick, so oh. they will not be here. Thank you for that. So, actually, I did forget. I'm going to cut back um, a, a little edit here. Um, so, part of this cooperation with the school district 
is that they were going to supply us uh, some students to ask some questions. Um, sadly, our, um, uh, our student wasn't able to make it, but um, I have some extra questions here from uh, another student. So I thought if you're okay, I'll ask you a couple quick questions on that. Um, so this question comes from uh, Anaku uh, Larchelle, and she is from uh, Wellington High School. Um, and she asks, what are your plans for affordable housing in Nanaimo? I think the biggest thing in Nanaimo is strictly the lack of housing. And to make it more affordable, we need lots more. There is red tape. It, it's a phenomenal amount of red tape that a, that a builder has to go to in terms of applying for all the permits. I know of one case where they actually applied for the permits last December and they still have not been approved. So it's to get rid of the, the, the red tape, mm -hmm. expedite the, the plan. Ideally, I'd like to see it almost made more provincial so that each little jurisdiction doesn't have so many differences so that the bigger developers, but I think it's just increasing the, increasing the supply, offering subsidies to renters, you know, if, if you get in a place and you can't, can't afford it. but. Much more supply will make a lot more housing available. Awesome. Uh, she also asks, uh, what are long-term plans on helping our post-secondary systems, VIU, adapt to a COVID-19 situation? Long-term plans to help the post-secondary systems. So I'm understanding most of them have gone to a Zoom format. Yes. Which means the big old brick and mortar aren't there. I'd love to see a lot of those students get reduced tuition. It's the building maintenance isn't there, so I think it, it shouldn't be up to the students to be kind of still paying through the tu through tuition to get that. So reduce reduce tuition. Awesome. Uh, one last question from uh, Anaku. Uh, what are your plans for improving affordable transportation and bus routes throughout Nanaimo? I think they need to be streamlined, and I have heard that Nanaimo has purchased two electric buses. Yeah, the uh, which, school district actually has, which is great. Which will help. So I think, you know, moving over to, to electricity, which is a lot cleaner fuels, the stopping burning fossil fuels, and um, expediting the school routes. Awesome. Um, that's great. So thank you, Anaku from, uh, from Wellington, for providing those questions. Uh, sorry that uh, we couldn't have, uh, have you here today. Uh, but thanks for the questions. So again, yeah, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, I really want to thank Dale um, from uh, the school district for setting us all up, providing us this lovely uh, transportation. Uh, maybe we'll see if we can take it around the block for a bit of a spin. Uh, I also really want to thank uh, Zach Tanner, who's uh, behind the camera. Um, production has changed a little bit for, uh, for the HA Mobiles, and I really want to thank Zach, uh, thanks Zach. Uh, for uh, stepping forward and helping out um, and uh, what else I'm just checking my notes here making sure we've got everything um, please share this video um, I think uh, in particular lots of people are asking questions about who our candidates are so please share this video uh, and if people want to contact you Kathleen what's the best way to do that you can go Kathleen Jones BC Liberals Nanaimo Riding awesome should get them to my web page yeah Check out the debate uh, tomorrow night, and uh, any final comments? No, just I would say, please vote for Kathleen Jones of the <laughs> BC Liberals. We intend to restore confidence and rebuild BC. Awesome. Thanks so much for joining us. Uh, thanks, Zach. Um, that's it for this edition. Uh, stay tuned. There'll be more. Thanks, Zach.